Welcome back fellow photographers. Today's topic is all about the time-lapse calculator, a simple tool that can help you take your time-lapse game to the next level. In this video, we'll explore what a time-lapse calculator is used for, discuss my favorite free options, and learn how to determine the storage and shooting duration for your next time-lapse project. So let's dive in. Understanding the time-lapse calculator. So what exactly is a time-lapse calculator? Well, it's the secret sauce to answering some of the most commonly asked questions you might have while shooting a time-lapse. Whether you're wondering, how many photos you might need, how long your camera is going to be shooting, the final video length, or even storage requirement. The time-lapse calculator has got you covered. So what's my personal favorite time-lapse calculator? It's PhotoPills. It's an incredible tool that you can use for it free or on desktop. It's simple and easy to use. It provides three calculation options to make your time-lapse planning a breeze. So let's hop into the computer and check it out. All right, so if we just take a look, basically what we have here is three different options here for the calculate. We just go to shooting interval. The shooting interval is gonna to refer to the numbers of seconds with each photo. It's also known as a time-lapse interval. If you're new to intervals, don't worry. I have a thorough explanation in the description below that'll give you all my best practices. Hey, do me a favor, please. If you're enjoying this video, go ahead and like and subscribe. It'll help YouTube know that you're finding value out of what I'm saying. So we have the shooting interval. And to recap, we're just gonna be reverse engineering what is our shooting interval. So maybe I might have a 60 second time lapse and I wanna shoot a sunset. So it's gonna be an hour before and an hour after. So two hours of the sunset. Camera shoots at 80 megapixels. So it's telling me right here, hey, my interval is gonna be five seconds. I'm gonna take 1,440 photos. So I better have at least 112 gigabytes of storage. That's a lot. But what's nice about the Sony cameras is if I don't have a 180 gigabyte card or it's a little bit full, I can actually compress it to a 40 megabit. Boom, now maybe I can get away on a 64 gigabyte SD card. So this, this is where it comes in handy, just helping you figure out how much space you need. Again, we have clip length. This is gonna help you reverse engineer how long the clip is gonna be. Let's say we're gonna do traffic and we want to do a two second interval. And I think it's gonna be, what, eight minutes of shooting. We could see, okay, it's gonna get us a 10 second clip of traffic. And lastly, if you wanna know how your camera will be shooting for a specific event, you can choose the event duration. Simply set your shooting interval, desired clip length, and frames per second. And Photo Pills is gonna help provide you with the event duration, giving you the precise information on how long your camera needs to be running. And that is perfect for situations where you may need to set up your camera, um, sometimes I set it up on the roof. Well, it takes a time lapse sequence, and now I have an idea of when I want to go check on it. On the other hand, if you've purchased your camera relatively recently, chances are you're not going to need a separate time lapse calculator. Many newer cameras have a built in intervalometer function that incorporates all of those features that we just discussed in your camera. So be sure to check out your camera's intervalometer settings and take advantage of this, and you're not even going to need to use a time lapse calculator. Now, I want to address a couple of popular devices that none of this would work for. For example, iPhone time lapse calculator and an Android hyperlapse calculator. Apple's approach to time lapse on iPhones is really unique. It automatically assumes half second interval for recordings up to five minutes. And beyond that, regardless of how long you record, it's going to convert it into either a 20 or a 40 second video or somewhere in between that. And while the feature takes care of the calculations for you, it can be a bit limiting if you're looking for a little bit more control, but that is how the time-lapse on the iPhone works. The Android hyperlapse calculator is honestly one of the weirdest things ever. Offers options like A for automatic, presets such as 5X, 10X, 15X, 45X, and 60X. Even has little moons that indicate that it's a nighttime preset. You know, I did a lot of testing with them and basically found out that 5X and A are one sixth of a second. It's basically not usable. Only ones that I would recommend using are 30, 45, and 60X. 30X is one second interval. 45X is one and a half second interval. And 60X is a two second interval. So you could dial in either the 30 and the 60X presets, but honestly, it's kind of just a nightmare. And there's a whole chart that hopefully makes it a little bit more clear to help you. And there's a written guide that goes along with it if you're curious about that. But yeah, there you have it. The time-lapse calculator is a really handy tool for planning and executing your time-lapse projects from determining the numbers of photos needed to calculating shooting duration and clip length. It's just gonna take a little bit of guesswork out of the entire process. And remember, whether you use PhotoPills or your camera's built-in calculator, understanding these tools are gonna give you precision and control to capture stunning time-lapse sequences, and it's gonna help take the guesswork out of your work. So go ahead, grab your camera, and start creating those mesmerizing time-lapses. Hey there, if you enjoyed this video and you wanna learn more about photography, videography, or time-lapse, be sure to check out other videos and subscribe to the channel. Stay tuned for more exciting content and happy shooting.